my name is Danielle. You can call me Danny and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my May and <laughs> I think May, April. My April and May empties video. I didn't do an April's empties because um, by the time I got everything settled it was like already halfway through May and I was like it's, mm, uh, <laughs> so I decided to just put May and April put together into one video so I'm gonna show you some of the items that I uh, finished up in April and May and yeah but first of all I do want to do a disclaimer um, and my makeup looks bad I am so sorry I am trying out a new foundation today and I don't like it <laughs> the color is pretty good but like the coverage and I don't know I just really don't like it and yeah I don't mm, I don't I don't think I like it <laughs> so that is why my makeup looks pretty bad and you can still see some of my dark spots popping through and also this is pretty much the very first video where I am officially doing it in my finished background I am really excited I hope you guys like this type of video and let's go ahead and get started and see what I finished up in April and May all right so we're gonna go back all the way to April and I have my list here now first in April I finished up 39 products overall together uh, don't really think that's a big amount but in a way it's it's gonna be bigger than what we see in May so I finished up 39 products overall out of those 39 products 21 of those were low-end products so you could find them like at drugstores grocery stores things like that and then the 18 products left from that are high-end so usually you can only find those at high-end retailers like Sephora Ulta or their own websites things like that and then now bringing it down to beauty and makeup out of those 39 products 30 of those were in the beauty category which means they were have to do with skincare body care hair care things like that and then nine of those products were for makeup so we'll dive into what kind of makeup it was a little later but overall 39 products costed a usage of five hundred and eleven dollars and eighty nine cents so that is actually pretty cool I am excited about that so the makeup products were pretty small I have them mostly listed at the end I did use an elf and a Too Faced makeup product I also have here that I finished a Ciate London makeup product Ulta Beauty makeup product it cosmetics LA colors milk makeup hourglass and Maybelline so those are the names of the brands that I used up that were in the makeup category now because I do have them mixed up in here with May they're probably more towards the bottom I can't figure out which ones were the makeup item so like the LA colors was definitely this one I know for sure this is the contour stick LA colors in the shade medium I actually really enjoy this so I will re be repurching this from I believe Dollar Tree if not five below so this was one of the makeup products that was also part of the low-end purchases and then for the milk makeup I know for sure was the Kush lash primer this is one that I did use up and was in the makeup category for April I personally didn't really like this I didn't feel like it did anything for my lashes really so I did use it up all the way but I'm glad I only got a mini so I didn't have to work through a whole giant one one that I also know I definitely used up was the it cosmetics bye bye breakout powder and this one it says it's for oily acne prone skin I don't have oily skin but for now I do kind of have acne prone skin so I thought this would be pretty okay um, I only got the mini it was pretty okay nothing like too big to you know grand reveal or whatever so it was all right nothing to write home about 
probably won't be repurchasing though. Another product I have in here is from Seate London. This one is the uh, Watermelon Burst Hydrating Primer. This one was on my wish list back in the beginning of the year, if you guys remember. And I actually got a sample of it and it was okay. Um, I didn't really see any significance in my makeup or like how it felt on the skin or anything, but it smelled pretty watermelony, uh, which was a nice scent. I do know sometimes if brands do like a scented type of makeup, I usually don't like it. Like sometimes for like the Too Faced Peach collection, for example, I really didn't like the peach scents of it but the product was so good. The same goes with this, um, but like the opposite pretty much. Uh, I did really like the scent of it, but I didn't see like a great transformation in my makeup or anything like that. And then another makeup item was the Too Faced Damn Girl Mascara. This mascara is pretty okay. I have had this for a long while. It has definitely been used and abused, if you guys can see that wand. Yeah, <laughs> but um, it was pretty good. Not my favorite, but I do like it better than their better than S mascara, if you know what I mean. So I would recommend this more than the other mascara. But I did finish this one up in April. Another product that I used up it was the Hourglass mineral translucent setting powder i actually really like this powder it's very finely milled and it feels really nice on the skin i felt like it gave my face a nice little blurred effect so i will re be repurchasing this after i go through more of my powders but this one was really good so i yeah i'm glad i was able to try this and use this up so those were the majority of the makeup products that i used up in april some of like the body or the beauty products i should say that i used up in april concluded of let's see let me find something here oh i used up where'd it go ah the uh, Paracone MD Smoothing Facial Confirm Conformer <laughs> Serum. This was, felt really good on the skin. It did have a little weird scent to it, but the component itself is very weird. It took forever to pump out the left of the product at the end of the container. So I really had to like scoop it out actually. So I don't really like the component of it, but the application or actually the um, the product itself felt really good on the skin so this one i do like although it was super expensive i'd say it's about 300 dollars. so i wouldn't really recommend it because although it felt good on the skin i didn't feel like a enormous transformation to the skin if that makes sense another product that i'm really excited about that i finished up in april is the jlo beauty that blockbuster wander cream this took forever <laughs> to finish. I have been using this since it launched and it actually felt really good on the skin. It does have a, like a little fragrance smell to it. So if you're not into fragrances, I definitely wouldn't really recommend it, but it did feel really nice on the skin. It left my face feeling plumped and hydrated. So I really liked it. Although the price point might be a little too high for people. I don't know if I would actually repurchase it or not, but it was nice. So I am glad that I was able to try this out though. Uh, although I'm not going into depth though, I will be saving some of these items to go more into depth for future reviews. So if you guys wanna see reviews on some of the products or a more in depth of it, definitely leave a comment down below on what you want to know. That way I can put it into a future review video. Okay, so keep on going. I also finished a little mini of the glow recipe sleeping mask this is the watermelon glow this one was one of the only things that i was that i am able to try from glow recipe because they put a lot of lavender oil into their products this one lucky luckily <laughs> didn't have lavender oil in it i did try it it felt although i do like hydration in my products it just didn't feel uh hydrating enough all it felt was wet if that makes sense so like sometimes if you put like a gel on your face instead of seeping into the skin it just laid on top of the skin and it just it just felt weird so 
I'm glad I at least got a sample of it to try it, but I won't be purchasing it in the future or anything like that. So that is some of the things from April. Now we are gonna go moving on to May. In May, I only finished up 25 products, not a lot again, but still a pretty good amount. And that amount retails for a price of $369.41. And out of those, what did I say, 39, 25, 25 products out of those 25 products the amount of low ends so the ones you can buy from drugstores things like that were only nine products and then the high-end spectrum was 16 so I definitely used up more of my high-end and luxury items during the month of May so that's actually kind of exciting because usually I use up a lot of drugstore type items so I was really happy to see that I used up more of my higher end items and then when it comes to the beauty and makeup spectrum i used up for beauty out of those 25 items i used up 18 and then the rest of the items were makeup items which were seven items so some of those do conclude for let's say this estee lauder soft clean moisture foaming cleanser this is weird um it feels nice on the skin but it smells like laundry detergent like uh, no kidding 100 percent smells like putting laundry detergent on your skin so i don't know i mean i love the smell of laundry detergent but if you are kind of weird about that i wouldn't recommend this but i mean it's it's all up to you you know i don't know <laughs> i also did use up this kapari uh let's see coconut melt uh to melt off makeup I honestly did not like this. I felt that the melt was too hard, compacted inside of here. So it was really hard to actually take out of it. And then you had to warm it up in your hands to actually get the melt actually going and able to put it on your face. So I didn't really like that because I felt like it was just too much hard work to get makeup off, you know? It shouldn't be that much of a struggle when you can just use a makeup wipe. But the point is to not use a makeup wipe, you know? so. I didn't like this one and I wouldn't really recommend it honestly. Then I also used up a Mar Mario Badescu Glossonic Foaming Cleanser. Didn't really see a difference in my skin when using it. I also did use up a Mario Badescu um, AHA Baton Alcohol Body Soap. Uh, didn't really see anything with my body in that either. Honestly, I don't really recommend Mario Badescu for skincare. I usually only use, use their uh, sprays to hydrate the face or to just add a little bit more uh, settingness to the face, but that's pretty much it. That's all I've ever used from them. I finished up my Bubble and Bubble Repair Blow Drying Cream, and I also used up two packets of the hero mighty patches i used up the micro point for blemishes and then the invisible plus uh they both work pretty okay this one actually works a lot better i love the invisible one i always repurchase this whenever i can and wear them out to work and things like that the micro point for blemishes didn't really see any difference in this with my blemishes or anything so I won't be repurchasing this and I don't really recommend it. I definitely just recommend getting the original and the invisible. And then I did finish up some First Aid Beauty Facial Radi Radiant Pads um, for exfoliating. I don't really recommend these ones. They didn't really do anything for my skin. If you have uh, dry skin, they probably are pretty good for hydration but I just wouldn't recommend it if you're looking for that little more intense exfoliation to your skin I like a more intense exfoliation even though I do have dry skin but I don't have sensitive skin so I didn't personally like it but you know you try what you can for makeup I finished an Estee Lauder little black primer uh, this one dried up so fast the component to this was so it's like so tiny look how tiny that little brush is and it's black so you, it looks like a mascara but yeah it doesn't do anything to the lashes and it dried up really fast because you have to keep um, going in and out to get more product out because the application is so small so I wouldn't really recommend this I also finished a Maybelline brow drama and this is actually one of my favorite uh, brow products so I have a bunch of backups of these but I finished one of them so I'm glad that 
I still have more of those. I also finished a Smashbox contour stick. This one is in the shade bronze. I love these sticks. Unfortunately, they don't make them anymore, so that's why I kind of wanted to finish it up as soon as I could. And I also finished a NYX micro pencil in the shade black. This is one of uh, like a good brow pencil. I wouldn't say it's one of my favorites, but it is a good one. And then, sorry, I'm going fast. I don't, I don't want this video to be too long because we're going through two months. <laughs> And then just another item would be a LA Color Browy Wowie Tinted Brow Gel. I absolutely love this one. This is in the shade Dark. I actually got this in my full face of, I think it's LA Colors makeup. I will leave an eye card uh, on here so you guys can watch that. And I love this brow gel. I will definitely be repurchasing this, this <laughs> repurchasing this because it works wonders. Like it literally compares to high-end eyebrow gels that I have or and even better to some of them too so I really do like this I also finished a concealer this is the cover xx cover fx <laughs> power play concealer this is a really good concealer in the shade g light one I really like this it covered up really well and it set on the face really nicely it didn't settle into my under eye fine lines or anything like that and it was just really nice. So I probably will be repurchasing this after I finish up some more concealers. Then I did finish up some more items, a lot of body washes, some hair care, um, a lot of mostly skincare after that. But yeah, that is the majority of the things. I did finish up my BB Curl Defining Cream. Um, <laughs> that took a long time guys like I purchased that way back last year when I wait was it last year when was it that I got my haircut guys it was last year right I don't even remember honestly <laughs> but yeah that is everything that I finished up in May and in April so in April I finished up 39 products in May I finished up 25 put them together I finished up 64 products all together in those two months so that's actually pretty nice but yeah I'm excited to see what I finish up in June and I'm going easy on myself you know if I'm able to finish up things if I'm not you know I'm totally okay with that I've definitely been testing out more like sample size products so if I'm not testing out a lot of full size or if I'm not using up more full size products, that's why. But that's just because brands are releasing so much stuff nowadays that I just can't keep up. <laughs> but I am purchasing more things as well as also getting more of like the tester items. So I know what to pick out and things like that. So I know what I will use up. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up down below so I know. And if you're not already, subscribe to my channel. I post every Friday. Leave a comment down below on how many products you finished up in April and in May, or if you finished any products. <laughs> and also tell me what you think about the background. Do you like it? Do you hate it? Do you miss the old background? Do you like backdrops? Tell me what you think. I really love your feedback. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I love you so, so, so much, and I will see you next Friday.